Hello everyone and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. In the last session, we took down the Guardian Ape. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a fight. It was tough and it made me a bit salty, but uh, it was very good. And uh, then we returned to the castle and discovered some sort of invasion has taken place. Um, lots of, lots of <laughs> red-hatted dudes running about the place. And uh, we come back through. All of our, all of our sculptor's idols had been removed. And then we uh, left off facing these two. Uh, this guy is one of the Lone Shadows. We met one of them in the well previously. Lone Shadow Longswordsman. And then this guy is Lone Shadow... Vile, vile hand or something. Uh, so, <laughs> what do we need? What do we need? He seemed to be using uh, poison. So if we swap this one for the green one, so that it's just easily to the right uh, or to the left of our healing gourd, that could be good. Uh, we also want this ninjutsu one because I want to try. It, it may not work, but I want to try assassinating purple ninja prick to my left. And having a nice two-on-one against this guy. Um, aside from that, I don't think there's going to be a... I don't know. I don't think there's going to be a particular... Like, he's not a beast, so the firecrackers aren't, like, amazing. He doesn't get in the air, so the shurikens aren't, like, amazing. I mean, there's probably something. I don't think he has red eyes, so the flame's probably not... Amazing. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. There's still there's still a bunch of uh, prosthetics I haven't even tried, and I should probably do that. But wait, did I never? Oh, I never actually put the spinning one on. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, this is the better one, right? Yeah, okay. That's dumb. <laughs> that is dumb of me. Right. Um, shall we do it then? Okay, come on. Sneaky sneaks. Oh my god, it's going to work. It's going to work. I'm, I'm going to have to remember how to play. <laughs> but let's see how it goes. Go get him. Go get him, big boy. Ow. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, hang on, he's still he's still hurting me, I think. I didn't realize that was how it worked, but I'm pretty sure he's still hurting me. Oh no! No, I assassinated my friend! That wasn't what I wanted to do. Okay, well that took down his first health bar. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Fuck. Get away, heal. <laughs> heal again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fuck, that did not go to plan. Come on. Come here. Come here. Okay, okay, back up, back up. I'm finding it really hard to read his, uh, his parries. Okay, okay, back up. Oh. Lump of fat wax. Oh, and a prayer bead. Oh, thank you. Not too bad. I mean, I'm I'm breathing real real heavy right now. But not too bad. Has that changed? No, that's that's what it was before. Well, I am fairly pleased. Rest up. Very nice. Right, so... I'm now missing one prayer bead. And again, that makes me think back to the snake eyes that we skipped a long time ago. Oh, but do I want to do it? That is the question. That is the question. I don't know. <laughs> I really kind of don't. <laughs> I don't know. I just had such a problem with the previous... Oh, right. This guy respawns. Of course he does. Of course he does. Alright. Let me get out of here. Of course he respawns. Didn't even think of that. I had such trouble with the first snake eyes, and that was when I was able to death blow off one of his hits. And this is the second one I can't. <laughs> Man, you get 392. I could just keep resting there. That'd be so cheesy. But I could totally just keep resting there and keep coming and hitting him for 392. Oh, okay, this is locked. What was that? Hello? It is. What the fuck? Oh, you twat. I'm just trying to have a nice conversation here. If I'm a bit sneakier, maybe they won't see me. Don't, don't put someone you need to talk to in a location where an- Oh, fuck off. Don't put someone you need to talk to in a location where an enemy can see you across the map. Like, that's just annoyance. Like, I should just be able to talk to this guy. And for it to be fine. That is not an insignificant amount of XP, man. I could grind the hell out of him. Right, so maybe if I sneak and talk to him, hopefully he won't see me. It's me. Yeah, they're being targeted. Could I ask you to protect them? Okay, I think this is where we got up to. Welcome. No, I think he's seen me again. I can't move whilst you're... Oh, that is such gash. Please. 
Cease and desist. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, no, that's not what I signed up for. That is absolutely not what I signed up for. Fuck, where's the window? Was it down here? I guess we're just going to have to skip this dude's dialogue. Like, just keep pressing X and hopefully read it quick enough. Because I want to see what he has to say, but... <laughs> you can't. Because they've designed it in such a way... <laughs> That you get screwed. Oh, why is that not a backstab? Come on, man. Oh, now it's not even going to let me get out of here, is it? Oh, that's good. Come on. Come all the way in. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't trigger me within the first 10 minutes of me turning this game on. It's going to be a long session. Unless the end of the game is around the corner. Which it feels like it could be, honestly. Like, these are some really, really hard enemies and they're throwing them all together at once. It's not something you'd think that would be coming, like... Unless you're really near the end of the game. Right, time to smash this guy's dialogue. It's me, they're being targeted. Can I ask you to protect them? I will. To think I'd have to ask for your help, it's truly maddening. Oh, and that's it. Okay. Bye-bye, my man. Right, is he back up here? Oh. Onushi uh, we watched you die, <laughs> didn't we? So, we together. Isn't that what I'm doing? Wait, is my dad being a dick? I don't Are we having to fight him? Oh no, he's a talk person. But we're in a mist door. So I'm gonna guess this conversation isn't going to go well. Hey dad. You are one big lad. それよ。わしはあの巫女の力を。流院を手中にしようと思う。<笑> Obey the Iron Code, forsake Kuro, or break the Iron Code, stay loyal to Kuro. Sorry, Dad, you're sounding a bit like a nutter. 
I'm gonna have to uh, stay a lot. There, there, there. Words. I'm gonna have to try and speak English properly first. I'm going to stay loyal to Kuro. I wonder. That seems like a fairly big choice. Because obeying the Iron Code is what my dad wants, so would I not fight him if I did do that? That makes that very tempting. <laughs> but no, I will stay loyal to Kuro. Unthinkable! <laughs> no, I think I understand it. You're just like Ganichiro. <laughs> and do you know what I did to Ganichiro, Dad? I gave him the dick. <laughs> Man, where's the loyalty? Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Maybe I should go and get that Snake Eyes one. Ah, piss. Great Shinobi, Owl. Oh, I didn't expect to be... Fucking hell. What the hell is that? Jesus, it's gonna take me some time to learn this guy's combos. trying to learn the timings right now, as opposed to actually hit him. What is that? I'm guessing I don't want to be in it. Fucking hell. Oh my good lord. What is that? I don't even understand what this is. Fuck. 
Whoa, okay. Oh, man. It's combo to death. Hmm. I think, given that I'm on three out of four prayer beads, it would make sense to get a fourth. Oh, no, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Um... Yeah, okay, so you fight your dad in the same place you fight Genitro. That could be the end boss, to be honest. No, it couldn't, actually, because we still have to give Kuro the stuff. That feels like it could be an end boss, fighting your dad at, on the pagoda at the top of the world where you fought What's-His-Face. Um... Is there anything else that I can kill for a prayer bead instead of... <laughs> instead of that prick? Because... Oh boy, do I not want to fight. Ooh, ooh, actually. Um, let's see if anything's changed with... Dogen. Because it wasn't letting me do anything but talk to him before, but... Maybe this time. I don't know if you just have to rest and then go back to him, or whether you actually have to, like, fully, like, piss off and then return. Sorry, pot. Yeah, the arrow fight... I don't know what that thing he throws at me does. I don't think I've seen that, uh... That thing before. <laughs> Hello. You having a bad time? もはや人ではない。おい。ああ。忍びの方ですか。どうした。いいえ、何でもございません。忍びの方。師匠がこれをあなたに。The surgeon's stained letter, a tattered, blood-covered note written by Dosaku, the surgeon in the abandoned dungeon. At the oh, this guy. I thought this guy was Dogen. Where did I get that from? Fuck knows. At the bottom of the Mibu village pond, you'll find a Sakura carp. You will know it from its red eyes, which are said to never rot. I require those red eyes, Dosaku. I've got good news for you, lad. In fact, potentially the best news that I could give at this point in time. I certainly did, lad. Man, if you progressed his storyline before getting to the end of Miwu Village, you'd totally be spoiled for the fact that you get to swim. Lump of grave wax, okay. That's for some of the top tier upgrades right there. Which I, st I keep ignoring. I need to I need to start looking into the upgrades. Is that it? Okay, have you got anything new to say in here? Sure don't. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's progressed that. I Shall we just rest and come back and see if anything's changed? I don't know if this is the kind of game where resting is enough or whether you actually have to fully buzz off. Shit, that didn't go so there we go. That's fine. Oh, oh, hello, new eavesdrop. He's losing his shit.
やはりこれはもはや井戸からは外れております何故このようなことはあなたは何故このようなことはあなたは何故このようなことはあなたは何故このようなことはあなたは何故このようなことはあマスターズ not sounding so hot。Hello。コタエテクダサイシショウ。ナゼカ。ナゼコタエライ。コタエロドサグ。Well, you're having a bad day. Has this prick escaped? What's occurred? Is it like. I don't even remember where this goes to. It doesn't seem like phased that this dude is no longer here. Weren't you experimenting on him? Is his body like. Hmm. What was back here again? Oh, this was the secret, actually, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That came out. Yeah, okay. Who the fuck's that? Was, he wasn't there before, was he? Wait, is that? Is that the dude? Is this where we escaped to? Can you swim, bitch? He's got red eyes. Why did I press that? I meant to press that. God damn it. I think that is. Is that what's his face? What is the point of having this as a. Oh, you can do that. It's just like super off. <laughs> Oh my god, he's got a lot of fucking health. Fuck. Jesus. Oh, it works for a while. Okay. Not even meaning to. That's you're supposed to carry that, obviously, but I keep doing it wrong. But it's still working out. Red lump. We found we found a few of these, haven't we? Consumed to gain red eyes and reduce flinching from enemy attacks, but also prohibits the use of resurrection. The red mass will not mould nor wither, and though it does no harm, it will likely remain in the stomach even after its potency of, has worn off. Prohibits the use of resurrection makes me like just not even want to try using it. Yeah, there were these dudes. There were these dudes here before. You've got a very excited little bit of clothing there, sir. Well, that's cool. I'm glad I noticed that he was gone. That was a cool little bit of, I don't know, like natural sort of exploration, I guess. 
And the only way... Because I had to have already found this to open that door so that I could come through and then follow his path back. That was cool. That was cool. I feel like that's not something that everyone would find. No prayer bead, though. <laughs> Feels bad. I was I saw the little red dot above him, and I was like, oh my god, maybe. But no. Uh, right. Well. <laughs> Back we go, I guess. Oh, hang on. Fishies. There will be no fishies in my house. Wait, no, hang on. This isn't the way to go, is it? It's further down. I think. Is it? Was it? Oh, God. I've forgotten the way back. Wasn't it like a door right at the bottom? How have I got this lost? Oh no. <laughs> okay, we've come to a completely different idol. That works too, I guess. Okay, well, what about if we... This goes back to the doctor dude, doesn't it? Go away. All oh, right, you just get back up. But you do give me XP. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. You die after the second time? They actually disappeared after the second time. Huh. Hello. Okay. Nothing more with him. Is the end of the quest just killing that dude? Unsure. Well, that was... An interesting diversion, at least. Um, should we go take on Snake Eyes? I feel like we should, with three prayer beads to our name. Oh, no. <laughs> Which one would it be? Uh, this one? I think. Just got to avoid some guns on the way there, and then... Oh... Oh, no. And it's a really small area again, isn't it? Like, it's like just on the top of a rock. Okay, we're going to need the axe. We discovered the axe is primo. I don't think Whirling Strike would be any good, but we'll put it on anyway. We'll see. Uh, and then I guess it doesn't really matter what the other two are, because we'll just be using that, I think. We never actually used the green mossy cord, did we? Whoops. Is there anything else that I would like in here? I guess we could use some sugar against it. I just never, never use them. I've got 23 in storage. 17, 5, 17, and 2. Wow, these two are really rare. Go cans. Reduce posture damage taken. And Yashirikus. Halve max vitality and posture whilst gaining a large tower boost. Jesus. Got some of these for days. Boost attack power. Reduce vitality damage. And I used some of these, didn't I? So there would have been even more. Hmm. Got 12 divine confetti now. That's pretty good. Why is this red lump different? Oh, hello. It's because the description's different. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, this one says a red mass is a lingering trace of one who was unable to achieve their desires, slightly warm to the tough touch. And this one specifically says, found inside the body of red-eyed Jin Zaymon, the red mass will not mold nor wither, and though it does no harm, it will likely remain in the stomach even after its potency is worn off. Interesting. I wonder why they'd make that one different. Oh, sorry. I guess we'll just put that in there. Okay. 